Hey guys, this is Mario Star Plus Luigi, and welcome back to Monster Paper Mario Luigi YD. So, um, yeah, sorry for kind of starting. You didn't get to see the curtain rise up, but pretty much my game disc had an error while I was doing this boss battle, so now I'm redoing it. And I just decided to start from here. So, yeah, I'll probably have to get a new game disc. So maybe that's why my coins may look different. I had to come back here, and maybe my star points, I don't know. So what you want to do, and I didn't mess with my I or my uh, badges. That's what I meant to do, actually. Because this guy can be a little tricky, but he's not too bad. I mean, he's only his boss number two. I mean, like he's not like really hard. Here he has his foot move. Not really that hard to dodge. Um, I do recommend Flurry for this boss boss fight. Just because of something that's going to be happening soon. And I believe this guy has a... Sweet! Although we're not really getting much of a increase. I don't know. At least our audience gets full or whatever. So, um... Yeah, I recommend I'm using Flurry because it's something that will happen later. I think this guy is 30 HP. But I'm not 100% sure. I still, I'm... Sure, like I just said. So, um, Mr. Transformer here. He has that foot move, and he has a couple other moves. Two other moves, I think, to be exact. We're almost getting a bingo again. Ah, oh, different kind of mushroom. Okay, we can easily dodge that. Oh, uh, I think he's gonna use his second move this next turn, probably. But he does have some defense, as you can s plainly see. Normally we'd be doing two damage with the hammer and two damage with Flurry's stage presence. No, he's still gonna do his little squishing move. You keep doing that, dude. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, Quake Hammer, just because it does a little bit more damage. Yeah, two. It wasn't really worth the FP, but whatever. So we crushed him. Okay, he's going to use, use his next move. Pretty much what he's going to do is shoot his rockets out. And now his rockets are part of this boss battle. What I recommend doing first is Earth Tremor. Now, I did this really good in the failed attempt when my game just cut an air. Okay, that's exactly how I did the first time. Not even joking. That is the exact same thing I did the first time. But that did five, so it kills the rockets. And, um, yeah. I believe the rockets have between two to four HP. I th it might be three, but I don't know. It's between two to four. This is his next move. I don't really know the timing on this. Oh, I got it. Just keep clicking A and you'll randomly get it. Ooh, a flip. So stylish. Bonnie Slam, and um, I think he's gonna use his. Oh, stylish. I think he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna do it again. Now we don't have enough uh, star power. I do believe special powers. No. So what you want to do is actually use Gale Force with Flurry, so she can blow them out of the battle. But um. You need to pretty much do it perfect to get them out of here, so obviously the boss won't get out of here. I forgot to shut my door when I started to record. I'll have to do that after. Oh, and I'll do it again. Okay. I just want to stay focused here. Okay. La boom. Oh, he's gonna do it again, so. Oh, but he's not gonna bring them out. He's just gonna squish us. I guess he has it for a uh, next turn. He should be dead soon. Gurk, erg. No. See, when he says that, he is very close to dying. 
very, very close. I believe 5 HP to dying. So, uh, what I'm actually gonna do... Quick Hammer. And then, uh, just body slime again. So just to uh, speed up the process a little bit. I think he has like 1 HP left. So, um... I'm not even gonna worry about uh, these guys right now. Oh, but he's still in the game, so, uh... Gale Force is of good use. It's perfect, and they are out of the battle. Good job, Flurry. Aw, oh, only have 1 FP left, too. Oh, didn't dodge at that time. It's fine. But he's close to dying. It's not 5 HP when he says that. It's probably 10. Is what I'm guessing. But yeah, he probably has 30 HP. Oh, there we go. He's dead. And you get a lot of star points for that. I'm just gonna shut my door here. You guys probably heard that. That's fine. And he is defeated. And Lord Crump drops the crystal star. But Lord Crump sadly did not die. And he gets away. And his little x knots will run away too. So now the tree is free of the x knots What a buffoon. I don't know how these random punies got here. They were stuck. <laughs> Back uh, near the uh, end of the tree there. Yeah, Klaus Mardio. We get the Emerald Star. Looks more green to me. But what the poo, what do I know? You got the Crystal Star and learn the special move, Clock Out. It's kind of like um, Lullaby and Time Out from the original Paper Mario. Not really useful. I'll never use it probably. Well, I'll maybe use it just to show it off. I still haven't shown off Sweet Treat yet. Uh, yep. It's pretty much just a chapter summary. So we're finally done with this chapter. I really don't like this chapter. Yes, I'm gonna save all my data just because my game shuts off. I don't have to do that battle all over again. But we're gonna have a Peach segment right here, because it's the end of the chapter. I'm gonna go through this a little bit quick, quicker than before. Here we are, already got in touch with Lord Crump. Oh, random X knocked. Mario was kind of, um, kind of weird Mario fighting girls. It's very weird. He's abusing females, even though it's not real and they're um, kind of monsters, but still it's kind of kind of creepy when you think about Mario as like an abuser. Okay, so I'm kind of glad chapter 2 is over. Probably one of my least favorite. Not my least favorite, but one of my least favorite. My favorite chapter is actually the one coming up. I always love this chapter for a few reasons I'm not going to go into now. Don't want to spoil anything for those of you who haven't played the game. Here we have the princess again. So, um, will the door just open? No, we have to go into the, uh, oh, just check it. I was going to say we have to go into the bathroom again, but nope. So, time for another Peach and Tech segment, I should have said. Because, obviously, we're going to be seeing Tech. It's the only place we can go. Ooh, 
eavesdropper. What a pedo. Pedo computer. Yeah, I'm sure that guy doesn't mind keeping surveillance on Peach. What? Dance with him. Oops. How do we dance with a computer? Well, we're gonna find out. He made a clone of Peach. Not even pixelated. That's a well, obviously it's pixelated, but it doesn't look pixelated in their land, I guess. So it's a pretty uh good computer there. A pretty high tech, you should you would say. So press the buttons as they display on the screen. That's right. Peach is dancing with herself. <sighs> what a fool. So this isn't hard at all. I like this music though, it's it's nice. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. I thought it said uh something else. I'm not even looking at my controller when I do this. Oh, I clicked the yeah, you know, oh jeez. Was even looking there, that's why. So you do have to get a good enough score on this to I think. Oops, I click A by mistake. I suck. Did I do good enough though? Well, apparently I did. Yeah, so mm, I'm, I'm not big on the peach segments in this game just because of tech. I really don't like tech. He's just kind of boring. It's like, oh, fun. What is fun? I don't know. I guess they're trying to be unique with this, so. I don't know, just, I don't like the Peach segments. I like the, uh, how they put Bowser segments in this game. Which, um, I'm gonna be doing next. You are a weird computer. Good day. Yes, we're gonna save all game. Status, progress, whatever. And we're gonna go do a Bowser. Um, event, I guess you could say. And Bowser is in Petal Meadows. Or Petalburg, or whatever it's called. <sighs> so apparently, Princess Peach is spotting the town up ahead. That's strange. We were just here, and I didn't see her. She's in some strange land or area. I don't even. We don't even know where Peach is being held. Look at this, World 1-1. One, one. Literally, it is World 1. It is just like the original Super Mario Bros. We are controlling Bowser. Pretty much you look A to jump, and B to roast your enemies with his fire. Even root roast Goombas as little allies, I guess you could say. These hand things pretty much make you bigger, and um, you can uh, also burn the pipes. And um, oh, we have X-Knots, just squish them. And once you get big enough, you are totally invincible. So there's nothing that we cannot conquer. So sadly, it's already over. So, and Count Bowser is bigger than the castle, so he's not going to go inside. So I wish that these segments were a little longer, but it's still unique. I like how they put them in this game. It's cool. It really is. Oh, look, now he's in a... Uh, the town. Pedalburg, yeah. Bah! So they don't know who- I don't think they know who Bowser is. They're Koopas, you think they would, maybe they're just- or Maybe they do know it's Bowser. I don't know. They just think he's a monster, so... I think he would have said Bowser if they knew it was him. Oh, Pete. Peach? What? Peach is here, what? She's in the house the whole time? I don't even think we looked in that house. Maybe that's why. What? She's not saying anything. Peach? This is very suspicious. I think Peach would be saying something right now. What the? 
What's this guy want? Where's Trevor? Peach poster? Why would you hang it outside of your house? And over top of your window? That's like the only window you have. Like, <laughs> only has one on this door. But seriously, who covers up their window with a poster? Especially puts it outside where it can get, like, stolen easy. Oh, how sad of Bowser. And, um, I'm actually going to end this video off right here because we're getting a little lengthy. Uh, the video, I should say. So this has been Mario Surf SVG, and I'll see you guys for the next part of Paper Mario T2ID. Peace out, guys.